Hello all, welcome to my third video. This video is on Tony and Steppy Eagle. I would like to thank Nero Bhatt sir for his guidance. Let's start. We will cover their etymology, basic information and the threats that they face. The Steppy Eagles is endangered and Tony is vulnerable. Let's start with the etymology. In this, I will explain the reason of its name. It will be in common as well as the scientific name. Let's come to the common name. The steppe in its name comes from the temperate grassland in Central Asia in which it breeds. The word steppe comes from the Russian for tree less plain. Coming to the tawny eagle, the tawny in its name comes from the color light brown or brownish orange. Come to the scientific. Moving on to the scientific name. The scientific name for steppe eagle is Aquila nepalensis. The Aquila comes from the Latin word for eagle. Nepalensis means discovered in Nepal. So, an eagle discovered in Nepal. The scientific name for tawny eagle is Aquila repex. Once again, Aquila means eagle in Latin. Repex means to capture in Latin. This is the same etymology of a raptor. The Aquila genus consists of five members in India. Out of these, we will discuss about two, the steppe and the tawny eagle. Coming to their basic information, we will discuss their ID pointers, their differentiation, their distribution taxonomy and their habits and habitats. Let's first know how to differentiate them. On the left side is steppe eagle and on the right is tawny. The red lines are the center of their eyes. To differentiate them, we must see their gapes. A gape is the opening of two jaws. If this gape extends beyond the center of the eye, then it is a steppe eagle. If the gape barely reaches or doesn't even reach the center of the eye, it is a tawny eagle. The approximate size of a steppe eagle is said to be 78 cm, while that of a tawny eagle is 67 cm. Let's come to the ID pointers of steppe eagle. In juveniles, the best pointers are the gape and the double white wing bars on the upper wing. In adults, the ID pointers are the pale nape patch and the baggy trousers or you can say fluffy legs. Moving on to the tawny eagle. In juveniles, the pale hind collar is visible and there are spangles on its back. In adults, they are extremely variable. They can be pale as in this photograph and as dark as a steppe eagle. Some may have streakings and some may not. Let's come to the distribution and taxonomy. Let's start with steppe. Steppe eagles are breeders in the Central Asian region, otherwise popularly known as the steppes. It comes to the Middle East, Africa and South Asia as well as Southeast Asia. It was first described by British naturalist Brian Hodgson in 1833 from a specimen collected in Nepal. Let's go to Tawny Eagle. Tawny Eagles are resident in India, Pakistan, Africa, Yemen and Saudi Arabia. It was first described by Dutch zoologist Coinrad Temenik who collected a specimen in South Africa in 1828. The Tawny Eagles found in India are said to be of the Vindhyans of species. They were first described by British naturalist James Franklin in 1831. Let's come to their habits and habitats. Both of them share quite similar habits as well as habitats. Both of them are highly terrestrial, which means that they prefer to stay on ground. They wait at burrows of mice, gerbils, bandicoots, etc. and capture them as soon as they come out. They are known to plectoparasite. This means that they have been known to steal prey from other raptors. They prefer wetlands, woodlands, grasslands, scrublands and many other types of habitats. They also visit carcasses for feeding. At the start of the video, you may be wondering why these two birds are not least concerned, although they are found in good population in India. Well. In the year 2015, steppe eagles were put under the endangered species and tawny eagles were put in the vulnerable category in 2018. The reason for this is that they were colliding with power lines, vehicles, they were being poisoned, their habitat was being encroached by us, they were being hunted and climate changes. 
Thank you for listening to me and please share your comments and valuable feedback in the comment section and please tell me if you want to know about any particular bird and please do not forget to like and subscribe my channel the divian way